Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm just going to show you how we made some things for my daughter's graduation luau. We actually priced a lot of this stuff and we decided to make it ourselves and we saved a ton of money and we had a lot of fun making it. So I thought that I'd give you some ideas. Maybe you're planning a luau and you need some. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you get some great ideas. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is I bought these just like science um, experiment display boards at the dollar store for one dollar, and I'm just gonna cut the sides of them off, and then I'm gonna take each piece and cut it in half because I need four pieces to make a 2018, a 2018. Okay, and I just freehanded a 2018 on this board, and it didn't have to be perfect because it's going to all be covered up with tissue paper anyway, so then I just cut all of the numbers out so that the girls could um, glue the tissue on them. And here are the numbers cut, cut out. They're not perfect, but like I said, it doesn't have to be. And this is um, all the tissue paper that the girls cut into squares. They just laid out. I think they got um, maybe five or six pieces at a time and cut them in half and then cut them in half again. And then they made way too many tissue paper squares, actually. Okay, we put glue on a plate for each Amy and Madison. And then they're gonna glue all the little pieces on the numbers. Who wants to start? Who wants to two? Madison? Amy? Do the zero. <laughs> so when you do it, you wanna like do it around the edge maybe, like first to make sure that it's nice and like sharp, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. And then you maybe fill in the center. So just get a piece here. Get a piece of that and like put your you know, like your pencil eraser like that. Sprinkle it up to it and then dip it in glue and then dip it on. Okay. But so they should be like 3D, right? They're going to like, stick up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, why you made like them. that's why you made them this side. Well, you can just crinkle them and dip them in and stick them, but this would make them more. How should wait, we dip the glue? In no, the you dip like that. Okay. Ooh. Unless you want to like crin crinkle it up and dip it in, you know? Yeah. Which might be quicker, but it's also might not be as uniform. So it's up to y'all. And this helps you press it onto it. And there they are finished. That was several hours worth of work. So, but they turned out beautiful and they were really happy with them. So next thing I'm going to show you how we made these centerpieces. We just took some mason jars and put a little bit of shred, paper shred at the bottom. And then we bought some tropical flowers we found at Walmart for a dollar and put them in the center of each jar and we needed 10 of these. Then I bought this green glittery paper and I freehanded this little 2018 and then flipped it over on the green, back of the green paper and traced it backwards. And then I cut each one of those out and then cut them out by hand. So that kind of took a little while, but it, was, it made it really pretty. That pop of green at the top of each centerpiece really, really was pretty. So we just took each one of those then and hot glued them to a stick and then stuck it in the middle. Later we did add pictures of the girls in the middle of each um, arrangement. Okay, so now we bought this. It's rainforest. It's like a oh, we can text it out. variety of greens. So we're going to make leaves with this. The big Hawaiian leaves to go on some decorations. So 
So I just took a piece of paper and I um, folded it in half and then I cut kind of a rounded shape. You know, leaves are all different, so it did not have to be perfect. And then I just cut some pretty wide slits. I made some with small slits, some with big slits, all the way up the leaf. And then um, I went back in and just trimmed a little bit off so that when you open the leaf, you can actually, you know, see in between the leaves. And I just continued doing this in different shades and different sizes. And there we go with some big, beautiful tropical leaves for hardly any <laughs> money. Then we printed off this uh, leaf and cut it out so that we could have a template to, you know, put a few of that, put a few of those on. And those actually really just made things pop. We really loved that leaf. It just took a lot more work to trace it and cut it out than the other leaves, but it was great to have a few of those in between. Okay, so we're making lay, what are they called? Luau skirts? Grass skirts. Grass skirts with streamers and green duct tape. So these were already made and these are going to go on the front of the table. So we have all these strips are being cut. <laughs> and um, add some cutting strips over here. And that's how we're gonna make inexpensive grass skirts because if you buy if we bought as many as we needed, we'd probably spend about $15, $20. And this costs about five, I think. Because we have yeah, we have ten rolls of green, and so that was five dollars, so a lot cheaper. And that's what the grass skirts look like. We just duct taped them to the table. And the name, we just took some cardboard and my daughter just drew the name on it and then we cut it out and spray painted it and then used some fishing wire to hang it. It was really pretty. So now I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful Hawaiian flowers. They're super easy to make. So for each flower that you make, you're going to need to pick what color tissue paper you want and then you're going to need um, a smaller square, just like a fourth of a sheet for the center. And then um, these, I forget what they're called, but <laughs> you're going to need that to secure the center of it. And some scissors. Okay, so for each leaf, you're going to need to take two whole sheets of tissue paper. And then you're just going to um, sort of smooth them out. And then fold that in half lengthwise. And then you're going to... Um, smooth it, wrinkled out, and then you're going to cut that in half to where you have two pieces, and that's going to be your first two leaves. So for each leaf, you're going to just um, lay it out with the folded side at the top, and you're going to kind of like scrunch the end together like you're making a fan. It doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously, it's a flower. Not, no two flowers are going to be exactly the same. And then you're just going to take your scissors and like trim the corners just to make it rounded like an actual leaf. And there you go. You have one of your <laughs> leaves finished already. So easy, right? So then you're going to repeat this four times to make one flower. Okay, so once you have all your leaves cut out and then the center piece, you're just going to roll that little piece up and it is just very random however you roll it up just twist it uh, nothing has to be perfect and then you're just gonna hold that in your hand tightly and take each leaf and kind of scrunch them back up again and put the cut side um, up and then smooth each piece out and you're just gonna hold them as tight as you can in your hand while you add each leaf around the yellow stem in the middle and then once you have all of those together, then you're going to secure the bottom of it, either with a pipe cleaner, that's what they're called, or a rubber band, either one, they both would work.
and there you go you've got it all twisted and all you're gonna do now is just twist that little pipe cleaner over to the side get it out of the way and then you're going you have your flower and you're just gonna turn it over and fluff the leaves and there you go beautiful Hawaiian flower and it costs you pennies really and you can customize them in whatever color you want and they're so beautiful they're so huge and so beautiful And that is how the flowers put together with the leaves looked. I just laid these on my floor just to give you an idea, but these are gonna be the backdrop for the photo booth. It's gonna be so cute. And the last thing, the girls were just going through pictures of theirs because they put them up at the party and they just strung them together on some uh, twine and then used little tiny clothespins to put them on. And we put those around the party tables and it was really pretty. It was really cute to have pictures of them when they were little all the way up to when they graduated. So I hope you enjoyed this and got some ideas. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.